Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Tara Arnold and tonight I'm going to be channeling Ascended Master Saint Germain and I've asked him to explain to us what crystals are about, why we use them, why people use them for healing and I've also collaborated with a friend on YouTube. Her name's Angela and she has the channel called Empowered Crystals. So she also works with Saint Germain and she has um, vast knowledge on crystals. You can check out her channel. She's got lots of information about crystals and a lot of crystal healing and crystal readings and she also makes beautiful crystal jewelry. Um, so I'll put her link in the description below. Um, tonight she's going to be joining us um, after I'm done. I'll, you can go over to her channel and she's created a video with Saint Germain on a crystal healing, Saint Germain crystal healing meditation. So if you want to check that out, um, her, her information will be in the description below. And I'm gonna get started. I just wanna say thanks for watching. Have a great night. Oh yes, welcome. I am Saint Germain. We welcome you all. Oh, we would say uh, there are many uses on planet Earth uh, for crystals. Uh, why are they here? Why are there so many different types? Why do they all look different? Uh, what uh, purpose is there for uh, crystals on planet Earth? Ah, this is a great question, we would say. Oh, each uh, crystal would hold uh, certain frequencies. We would um, say that each crystal would uh, um, have um, its own unique uh, healing properties within it. We would say that uh, we would not use the terminology uh, healed as um, all of you are already in perfection. It would be uh, the crystals are holding a remembering. Ah, what does this mean, Saint Germain, if I uh, connect with the, the crystal? how uh, may I get it to work? We would say uh, that if one is feeling unwell and you are drawn to a crystal for, for healing, uh, what is happening is that your consciousness is connecting to the consciousness of that crystal. Uh, when you um, uh, activate it, it uh, would uh, um, uh, blend uh, its energies with your energies uh, to uh, transmute uh, fear back to love, uh, simply uh, uh, um, as uh, we are doing now uh, through this video. Ah, this is how we work with Tara. We blend our energies with hers. We would say that as you um, put the intention um, into uh, um, um, the crystal, um, and then it would be activated. One would ask, well, how does it activate? And that is simply it. You do not need to take a course in order to um, activate a crystal. Ah, there are many who are um, um, uh, quite intuitive on how uh, a crystal would work and how uh, one would line up uh, to match their vibration. Uh, we are showing Tara at this time that many new earth children will uh, uh, form crystal grids. We would um, ask the parents uh, to um, uh, encourage this. Uh, we would not use the terminology ask one moment, please. Uh, we would encourage the parents to allow their children to uh, explore and play with the crystals freely. This would be that their intuitive knowledge of how a crystal grid um, would line up is already integrated into their um, auric field or their um, timeline or their, uh, one moment please. Uh, blueprint. Uh, the children of the new earth um, uh, will be making many crystal grids in order to uh, line up frequencies and balance the frequencies and change frequencies from fear back to love on planet earth. We would encourage the parents to not interfere with this play. You will see it as play but um, they have a deep vast knowledge that uh, he is not uh, consciously aware um, that they will uh, be bringing to the planet um, to um, balance and uh, heal um, the earth. We would say that um, allow allowing your children to play freely with their crystals, um, their intuitive uh, innate nature knows what to do with them. This would be 
that anyone could um, incorporate crystals into their um, um, practice. We would say that it is that none of you need to take a course. You do not need to um, know uh, information. It is um, uh, what are you drawn to? What energies when you walk into a store that sells crystal, what energies are you attracted to? Uh, start with that and explore um, read about them but uh, we would say to use your intuitive knowledge ah oh, this crystal um, I will um, bring it home and put it in my bedroom uh, and it will help me sleep tonight and so it is we would say that it is your intention this is how it um, becomes activated ah oh, well how do I I know if it's working Saint Germain how do I know if this crystal will help me sleep and we would say that um, once you um, um, do the this a few times then the belief will be created and you will um, ha um, have more belief system that it works the belief is not there when you begin to use crystals uh, it must um, um, we would say it must come in time uh, in linear time as you play with your crystals you would notice that the ones that you were using for certain things um, if certain intentions would be uh, uh, one day it would work ah you would have an aha moment I brought this crystal in and as I had it in my bedroom to help me sleep I had a better sleep tonight ah and then the belief is created once the belief is created um, then it uh, will um, integrate or uh, blend uh, even stronger with your uh, frequencies with your uh, consciousness it is the consciousness within the crystal that is blending with your consciousness we would say to talk to the crystal like you would talk to a friend many of you talk to your plants at home um, is this not uh, seem odd to some yes but many uh, believe that when they talk to the plant it helps it grow and thrive talk to your crystals it is consciousness connect with the consciousness within the crystals and ask them what they have to offer you there might be an intuitive knowledge that is not in the books that you read who wrote those books that you read uh, where is this knowledge coming from ah go in uh, not without this is where you will find the answers uh, uh, many of you are drawn to crystals we would say pick them up and um, make friends with them bring them home to cleanse them we would um, recommend uh, putting them into sunlight it would be um, solar powered haha -ha. we would say that um, we will give an example of how crystals uh, plug into planet earth ah there is a lamp in your living room and when you plug in the lamp to the electricity to the outlet uh, the light bulb comes on is the crystal the plug ah we would say the crystal is the light bulb when you plug it in it is that you are activating it so the plug in the wall would be you activating you putting your intention it is simple do not make it complicated all that is needed is your um to activate a crystal is your intention is it coming from the heart ah I have a heart-centered intention that I would like to connect with the consciousness of this crystal and ask it for um, assistance on in my um, healing journey and uh, I would ask this crystal to help me sleep tonight ah um, I would um, uh, um, connect with the consciousness of that this is you activating this is you plugging into the outlet ah it is uh, the crystal will will light up as the lamp in the living room the light bulb lights up ah this is how it would work this is how you you can activate uh, many crystals we would say uh, cleanse them often uh, put them in sunlight to recharge they would need to be refreshed we would not recommend using water on uh, crystals <laughs> Ah, uh, there are many uh, uh, we are showing Tara that use uh, sage around crystals this is beneficial as well 
Uh, there is no danger in crystals. Uh, um, t t there are mm, some uh, out, uh, people that wonder, uh, could I harm myself with a crystal if I used it wrong? It is always your intention. Uh, the crystal is consciousness. Uh, how could it be used wrong? How could it have ill intention when it is Christ consciousness uh, within every uh, cell of it, within every fiber of it? Uh, there is nothing that can harm you with any of these uh, crystals. Uh, make a friend out of them, not a foe. We would say uh, if one was to believe that uh, a crystal could harm them, they are making the crystal a foe. They are, are making crystal, uh, not the crystal a friend, but they are making the crystal an enemy. Ah, it is consciousness and blending your consciousness with the crystal is all that is required. All of you um, have an intuitive knowledge how to use these crystals. And once the belief is there, you will notice that they um, work better or magic will appear. Ah, is this not a spiritual alchemy if I um, connect with the consciousness of a crystal and then I feel better the next day? We would say, yes, you were transmuting fear back to love. You are um, an alchemist. Ah. Uh, we would like to address the terminology of healing. Um, we, one would say that I'm using this crystal to heal, and we would um, um, like to note that you are already healed. There, uh, you are already in perfection. There is no one that is broken. It is a remembering. The crystal is helping you to remember uh, that you are already perfection. It is a remembering that you are, are already consciousness. You already know the end of the journey. It is that the uh, uh, spirit's game or the spirit has fun on the journey and on your journey uh, many of you would say that uh, um, use the terminology um, healing or I need to be healed or I am broken or I am unwell and we, we must remind you that you are all in perfection it is only uh, a remembering that you are these crystals will help you to remember your perfection that is uh, how they are being your friend Ah, oh, blessings. Ah. Oh. Ah. Oh. Okay, so that's great. He gave a great explanation, and um, now I have a little bit better understanding how it works, and maybe my inner child will have more fun playing with the crystals and uh, setting up grids. And I just want to say thanks for watching. Have a great night. And don't forget to check out uh, Angela's uh, meditation, a crystal healing meditation with St. Germain. I will put her um, link in the description below. Thanks for watching.